Hey friends, welcome back to Art of Creation Homestead. Today, I'm gonna show you something really cool. I'm gonna show you how to pickle peppers three ways, all using the same brine. I know you guys, a lot of you came to the channel through the pickled pepper video or the refrigerator pickled pepper video. So I'm gonna show you how to even jazz that up even more. So let's get started. First off, you guys have seen me do this before. This is pickled banana peppers. I've just got a clove of garlic in the bottom of the jar that I've smashed and I've loaded this up with sliced banana pepper rings, as you can see, of all different colors and they're gorgeous because of that. And as you can see here, I have a whole pile that wouldn't fit in the jar. So I'll show you what we'll do with that in just a minute. So now here we have another jar <laughs> and we're going to put another smashed clove of garlic in that jar. And these are not a peños. You can use jalapenos. As I've told you many times before, we love the heat. Our mouth loves the heat. Our stomachs do not love the heat. So we are using not a peños, but you can easily use jalapenos or any chili that you like. I just slice them up about, about that thick. You can do them as thick or as thin as you like. And I'm just shoving them in the jar, just like I did the banana peppers. Just shove them all in there. Don't worry about headspace. These are just going in the refrigerator. Now, if you are water bath canning these, because you can water bath can them to make them shelf stable, then you will want to worry about headspace and you'll want to leave about a half an inch to an inch headspace. More like an inch, really. Now, that's the second jar down. Now, for the third jar, we have yet another clove of garlic. And we have these. They're whole shishito peppers. We're going to pickle them whole. What you want to do, you want to turn your jar on its side, and you want to pick the straightest ones. Try not to pick any that are really curved, because they won't go in as well. But it, you can slide them in. Make sure you slide them in nice and tight. See, I'm sliding them in nice and tight using the straightest ones that I, I have. Just slide them in. Fit as many in there as you can possibly fit. Shove them in there. Shove them in there. Fit them in there tight. Looks like we can probably fit about one more. There we go. I may be able to fit this little guy in there. Let's see if I can push him in there without without destroying everything, that is. If I can't, I can't. It'll be fine. But we'll see if we can fit him in there. Yeah, we can fit him in there because he's kind of curved, so he'll just overlap on the top. See? So, now our third jar is done. Now we have all these peppers left over. Just odds and ends scraps, not enough to do a whole jar. So what do we do? We're gonna take all these and make a pepper relish. All these plus a clove, a small clove of garlic, plus a small red onion, or any kind of onion you have, but we grew red. So in order to do that, you need to chop all this up. And you can choose to do this with a knife and just chop it all really fine because for a relish, you kind of want things to be really fine. Think, think pickle relish. Think how fine the pickles are chopped up for that. It's kind of what you want for this. You want your peppers to be really fine. You can stand there and chop them by hand. That would work great. Or you can use a food processor or mini chopper. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a mini chopper because I don't have enough peppers here to warrant bringing out a, a big food processor. So I'm just gonna use my mini chopper and do it in batches. And here's my little mini chopper. It's just, all it is is just an attachment to my uh, immersion blender. Yeah, that's, the, that's what they're called, immersion blender. <laughs> so now I'm gonna just throw in that small onion and some of my peppers. Just gonna throw them in. And all you want to do is you want to give it 
just a few pulses. You don't want to annihilate it. You don't want to just make it mush. You just want to finely chop it. So you just give it a few pulses. See, like that. That only took four pulses to do that. Now I'm going to empty this into a bowl. And for this, again, you can use any kind of peppers you want. Spicy or non-spicy. You can use any kind of peppers you want. Like, a, like we've told you about the shishitos, they can be spicy or not spicy. They're, they're hit or miss. They say one out of every ten is spicy. I did come across one that was a little spicy the other day. <laughs> so, but it wasn't painfully spicy. And this time, I'm going to throw my, my clove of garlic in there as well. Just give it about four, four good pulses. And now, look at there. Look at that beautifulness. All those colors, all those beautiful colors, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now we're gonna load this into our jars. This will probably make about two jars. I mean, think about this on subs or hot dogs or burgers. Anything, it, it's gonna be delicious on anything. Now, it doesn't look like I'm going to get two full jars, but like I said, I'm not, I'm not water bath processing this. I'm, I'm actually doing this just in the refrigerator, just for us to enjoy a quick pickle. So now we have two jars of relish, one jar of whole shishitos, one jar of banana peppers, and one jar of jalapenos or jalapenos. Now, I'm going to take you over to the stove, and I'm going to show you how to make the one brine that will service all of these. Okay. Now in this pot, we have three cups of white distilled vinegar. You can use apple cider, but I prefer to use white distilled. It doesn't have any flavor. Apple cider vinegar has flavor and will add flavor. I prefer to use something that doesn't really have much of a flavor. So you have three cups of white distilled vinegar, two cups of water. To that, we are adding, I know it's hard to see these, we are adding, this is one and a half tablespoons of canning and pickling salt. This is one tablespoon of sugar. If you can't have sugar, you can leave it out, but it's gonna be very strong because this is there to balance the brine. So it's not too salty, not too sour. It's there to balance it. And this is my secret ingredient. If you have followed my pickled pepper videos, you know this is my secret ingredient. This is a scant half teaspoon of turmeric. Yes, you even want it in the relish and the jalapenos or not jalapenos. Yes, you even want it in that because that flavor makes all the difference. Now, I'm just gonna dump all that in. Now you wanna turn your heat on about medium. Bring this to a nice boil. If you are going, if you choose to water bath can this, because now it's all up to you. If you choose to water bath can this, that you want to bring this to a full rolling boil. If you are just putting the, these in the refrigerator, you will just bring this to a very light boil just till you start seeing some bubbles come to the top. Now I'll tell you the difference. If you choose to water bath can this, if you don't mind adding chemicals to your food, which we, we do not like adding chemicals, so we do not do this. If you do not mind adding chemicals to your, your food, you can put in some of a product that is called pickle crisp. You can put that in to ensure that they stay crispy. And you will water bath process them for like 10 minutes. That, that's all you need. It's about 10 to 15 minutes. The relish may take a little longer because of the density of the jar. It may take closer to 15. But that, that will make them shelf stable because these are not going to be shelf stable. I know people tell you, oh, it's 5% 5 acidity in your vinegar makes it shelf stable. Yes, 5% acidity does make it shelf stable, but you've just added water to this. It's, that vinegar is no longer 5% acidity. That vinegar now is more like 3% acidity, which is not safe enough to just sit on a shelf. If you choose to do that, that's, that's all on you. I take canning very seriously. 
very seriously. Because the way I see it, when you choose to home can, you are taking the life of your family and anybody who eats the product that you can, you are taking that their life into your own hands. Because botulism is a serious thing. Personally, I don't want to risk it. I would much rather either shove these in the refrigerator and enjoy them in the refrigerator or water bath can them if I want them shelf stable than to risk possibly botulism growing in there because the acidity level isn't high enough. So I'm going to I'm going to quick pickle these in the refrigerator. And I'll show you how to do that when this when this brine comes up to a bubble. Now, my brine has come to a nice light bubble. Just a few little bubbles come into the surface and when you stir it, you feel that all the sugar and all the salt has completely dissolved. Now you're ready to remove this from heat and I'll show you the next step. Now I've brought it over here to where my jars are at. And as you can see, I've got a funnel in here. I've got them sitting on a paper towel. Don't set them on a towel or anything that's gonna stain. Turmeric stains very, very, very badly. Now you just wanna ladle your warm brine over your peppers and your pepper relish. Now the pepper relish, you just want to just cover it. You don't want to add a ton. You want to just cover it with your brine. You don't want to make it float. You just want enough to just cover it. Now with your Shitos, they may take a little bit longer to pickle than the rest of them. We'll have to wait and see how long they take, but they could take a little bit longer because they are whole. Now, as you can see, I've got them all filled and that brine was enough to serve us basically five jars. As you can see, these aren't completely full. So it, it was enough to fill these complete, completely to the top as well. Now, we, you want to put your lids on them. And of course, I'm using four jars because they are the best lids on the market. You cannot find better. If you are interested in them and have never heard of them, I'll leave a link in the description below. We are an affiliate with the company and I'm not just saying this because we are affiliates. I would use them even if we weren't affiliates. We're affiliates because we believe in the product. Now you want to screw those lids down fairly tight. You don't want to wrench them down but finger tight is good. Now at this point it's your choice. You can choose to water bath can them like I told you when I was making the brine. You can choose to water bath can them at this point for shelf stability. Or you can just let get ready to pop these in the refrigerator. What you want to do if you're going to pop them in the refrigerator, you want to let them sit here for about 20 minutes and let them cool because they are actually pretty warm right now. So you want to let them sit here and cool for about 20 minutes then you will go ahead and pop them in the refrigerator. Now, this stuff, except maybe the whole shishitos, will be ready, will be kind of sort of pickled in about 24 hours. <laughs> but every day that you go past that 24 hour mark, they just get better. I usually like about three days. About three days to at maximum pickle and they're amazing. You can keep these in your refrigerator for up to two to three months and just use on them and they will be amazing but look at that relish ain't that gorgeous so we'll be back in three days and jason will taste all this for you tell you just how delicious it is and show you just how how much of a crunch they still have now here we are here's the three jars these three jars are ready it's been four full days and here's the banana peppers the jalapenos or jalapenos whichever you choose and then this pickle, pick, this pickle pepper relish, and uh, then here's the shishitos, the whole shishitos. They probably need a two or three more days, to be honest with you. So they're not quite ready, but these are all ready. So I'm gonna take and take a little bite of all of these. Here's the jalapeno, crunchy, really go. Great flavor, Bill. Some nachos. <clears throat> I'm sorry, a little brown, but I'm gonna throw it. <laughs> but, big on nachos, any kind of sandwich, they're really good. 
There's a banana pepper ring. It's turned red, by the way, so it's still banana pepper. It's just not the typical banana pepper. I'm gonna drip brown on the floor now. That's really good. Quite bit for flavor when you let it turn red. It's really good. Actually, maybe a maybe a more well-rounded flavor. To be honest with you. Okay. That's really good. Good any kind of way you want. Your, I mean, you want to eat peppers. Obviously, it's sandwiches and whatnot. It's really good. Now this pickled pepper relish that has tachitos, banana peppers, jalapenos, and then some red onion and garlic that we all that we grew all of those. I'm really I'm really excited about that one. First of all, just a, it looks really good. Oh, that's that's just a beautiful relish. Um, it's full of good flavor. Wow, that is impressive. Really tasty. Just some. honestly, that pickled onion part of it, the onion part in there that we grew, you can tell really, really add some flavor in there. How much onion? How much onion you put in? Just a small. Bag. Just a little bit. Just a bit. Yeah, that's the right way to go because it's perfect, absolutely perfect. That will go on any kind of preparation to want. Honestly, it would be so good. You can make like a specialty hot dog and put that on. It'd be really good. I mean, it's, that's awesome. We did a good job with that. Thank you. So, again, that's pickled peppers four ways. Yeah, four different brine. four different pickled peppers in one brine. Um, four different ideas between doing pickled peppers. So that's really good. Really, really good pickled peppers. Obviously, pickled peppers is a tongue twister for me right now. The pickled peppers is a is something that our channel has done really well with. Um, it's been our most popular video uh, by far, which I got garnered over 200,000 views at this point for Angela's pickled pickled banana pepper recipe. And there's a reason for it. It's the best stinking pickled banana peppers, pickled peppers on the whole internet. I can promise you that, that brine is delicious. You wouldn't think that that brine matters that much. It does matter. So check it out, pickle your peppers in any particular way that you feel like pickling them. How about that? <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. My name is Jason. That's smart one. Her name is Angela K. This is Art of Creation Homestead. We love you guys. God bless you and goodbye.